Hello YouTube, my name is Rachel Mayo. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please do so now. Also remember to ring the bell icon so that you may be notified whenever I upload new videos. I'm going to be discussing how the new moon in Leo is going to affect you personally. This new moon is happening on the 18th of August and it's happening at 26 degree. This degree was highlighted about three years ago. In 2017, there was an event at this same degree. It was the Great American Eclipse. It was also at 26 degree. I want you to try and remember what happened in your life at that time. Something must have definitely changed. This event is not an eclipse. It's just a new moon, however it is at the same degree. So you're going to experience some type of similarities between now and then. Go to astro.com to get your free natal birth chart so that you may be able to follow along. Locate your ascendant or your moon sign. Also find out which house the sign Leo falls in. That house is going to be activated. This new moon is trying the Sagittarius south node and the galactic center. This is really important and karmic as a south node is a release point. I'm going to encourage you to listen to the whole introduction of this discussion. This is the only way you're going to understand how this energy is going to affect you personally because I cannot break down every aspect that's happening in this new moon event. If you'd like a full analysis of how this new moon event is going to affect you personally, I suggest you go to rachel hyphen mayo.com and book a reading. I'm going to focus this discussion on your Leo house as this is where the new moon event is happening. I'm also going to take a look at the Sagittarius house as this is where the transiting south node is located and is currently conjunct the galactic center. This is the karmic release point. So we are going to examine what exactly that means. And this is the point where you can release past bad karma. I'm also going to look at Mercury as it is Kazimi, the sun. It is exactly conjunct the sun. The conjunction of Mercury and the sun is a very important conjunction. Mercury is the messenger and the sun is the king. So the messenger is meeting up with the king. If there's anything that you've been confused about in the past few months or anything that wasn't clear, Mercury meeting with the sun is a point of clarity. This, this conjunction is going to highlight some much needed information. You are probably unsure about certain things, which direction to go. Now that Mercury has met with the king, he has the information that you need. Let's look at what Leo rules in your natal birth chart. Leo rules the natural fifth house of the zodiac. This rules over our creative abilities, our children, our romantic relationships, entertainment, sports, and what we do for fun. Most important of all, Leo is the fun summer sign. Leo likes to have fun. Leo likes to be on stage. Leo loves to be the center of attention. This is the time when we all want to celebrate and enjoy summer. In other parts of America, most parents are deciding whether to send their children back to school. Some may decide to do distance online learning. New moon energy always encourages us to start something new. Start a new romance. Start a new creative project. Have fun with your children. Unfortunately, we cannot ignore the restrictions that come with those type of activities today. And we see this restriction from the aspect of Saturn quincunx this event. What I love about this new moon is that the event is sextile Mars. Mars is going to give us the energy and the courage to initiate projects. People, this year is riddled with really bad energy. So if you're trying to initiate something before the year ends, this is the best time for you to try and do so. The energy is going to be positive for the rest of the time that the sun is still in Leo. And also when it goes into Virgo, because it's going to be trining the Capricorn stellium. This stellium is what's been bringing all this negative energy. When the sun moves into Libra, it's going to start squaring the Capricorn energy. You don't want to initiate new projects with squares and oppositions because Libra also opposes Aries and Mars is going to be in Aries for a very long stay. Everyone has to understand that Mars is going to stay in Aries until January next year. So this is the perfect time to just go for it and initiate your projects. 
What is mercury rule? Mercury, of course, rules inflammation, communication, our immediate environment, our siblings, our neighbors, just to name a few. Mercury also rules the sign of Virgo and Virgo rules the natural sixth house of the zodiac. The sixth house rules over themes like our health, which is very important factor right now, diet, exercise, what we do for work, and our and our known enemies. So part of the information that Mercury may have may have to do with our work, our health, our diet, disease, our open enemy, which our open enemy right now is the virus. As parents, it is our duty to protect our children. So do you have enough information to make a proper decision as how you're going to educate your children? And what about your daily routine and your work? How is that all going to gel together? These are questions that are being asked in almost every household. This Leo new moon is going to give us a new perspective so that we can make better decisions. The other thing I'm going to look at when I evaluate your ascendant is the transiting south node conjunct the galactic center. This only happens every 18 and a half years. This is a very karmic transit. This is the point of release. This is where we can release our negative karma into the black hole. So what kind of negative karma do you think has been dealt to you in this lifetime and you would like to let it go? This is your opportunity to let go of any negative energy that you've been holding onto. The nodes move very slowly. So the action of letting go of your past karma is not going to happen overnight. This conjunction is going to be activated at the Leo new moon. So essentially you have three months to let go of this negative karma. I made that chart for my location, which is New York. The ascendant is Taurus and the ruler of Taurus is Venus, transiting the sign of Cancer after, after staying in Gemini for over four months. So this is definitely new energy. Venus in Cancer is going to be new energy. Venus in Gemini had us thinking about money, about love. Venus in Cancer is more of a nurturer, so prepare to be more loving at home or experience love from your family or your children. And you're also going to be more concerned about the safety of your family unit. So in a nutshell, this energy is asking us to be bold and creative and go out there and have fun, go swimming, go to parties, but we can't do that, not during this pandemic. And that quincunx from Saturn to this event is the irritating and negotiating aspect. So we want to do all these things, but how are we going to do them safely? Is it safe for the children to go back to school? These are decisions that are facing most American families at this time. So as you're trying to make decisions, you have to think of the restrictions that are going to come with whatever decisions you make. Keep your children safe. Just remember to put the health and safety of your children first. If you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please do so now. Here is why you should subscribe to my channel. I talk about intimate issues that affect us as a society and as mankind. I also review herbal medicine and herbal therapies that one can use to heal the body or boost one's immune system. I usually review products that I've used myself, so you will be getting first-hand feedback. And yes, I am an astrologer. I bring you astrology in a simple way that you can understand and use it for your everyday guidance in your life. Also remember to ring the bell icon so that you may be notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's move on to our discussion. Aries rising, sun or moon. Finally, some positive energy. You're going to love this new moon. This event is training your sun, moon or ascendant. It is also training the south node in Sagittarius. It's also sextile the north node in Gemini. This is an excellent new moon for your Aries. Mars, your ruling planet, is also conjunct your sun, moon or ascendant and is also trying this event. So you should be full of energy to initiate whatever project that you have on your mind. This is a supportive aspect which is going to give you the much needed energy for you to initiate your projects. Enough with the oppositions and the squares. It's time to initiate a romance or initiate a creative project or make plans with your romantic lover and your children. 
Mercury has some important information for you at this new moon. It is conjunct your sun at this event. This moon is happening in your fifth house, the fifth house of children, creativity and romance and creative projects. Some Aries people might decide to homeschool their children because they may have some great ideas on just how to do so. It's also possible that some other Aries may decide to let their children go back to school depending on the state you live in and also considering the safety measures that are being implemented in the school districts. The galactic center is conjunct the south node in your ninth house. This conjunction is trying your ascendant. So whatever past karma you may decide to release at this time will come to you very easily and effortlessly. You may decide to change a religion or a belief system. Perhaps some of your belief systems are inherited and therefore they might not make any sense for you to keep holding on to those beliefs. For example could be something like your parents taught you not to like people who are who are not the same race as yourself. You may come to realize that these are not your own ideologies and you would like to release them at this time. This this past life higher belief system may not be yours so you may not see the reason to keep holding on to it. This is time to release it to the black hole in the galactic center. If you are living in a foreign country, this would be also the time that you decide to move back to your home country. Taurus, Sun, Ascendant or Moon sign. This new moon is in your fourth house. Your ruler Venus is now freshly transiting the sign of Cancer. She's much happier in the sign of Cancer because she can take care of her home and family. Cancer also sextiles your ascendant, so this is a supportive aspect. Perhaps it's time for you to begin that home project that you've been thinking about for a long time. This is also the time that information that you're waiting for could all of a sudden show up. Perhaps you are waiting for some documents or paperwork having to do with your home and family. If you had some long-standing issues or conflicts with your family members, this is also the time that they may be resolved. The galactic center is conjunct your south node in the eighth house. This is time for you to release negative karma that has to do with secrets, family secrets. If an intimate relationship has not been working, this is also the time that you may decide to let it go. Other things which could be released into the black hole of the galactic center is a bad credit, or you could pay off a mortgage, or release your hidden issues and insecurities. Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising. The new moon is in your third house. Mercury, your ruler, is a big part of this new moon. Mercury is Kazemi, the sun. So you are the person who has information. Perhaps you are confused about something and you find clarity at this point of conjunction, this new moon. But Gemini has met with the king. Gemini has a seat at the table with the king you have some information. This is the perfect time for you to initiate something in your immediate environment, something to do with learning communication with your neighbors or your siblings. It is also an excellent time to begin a new course of study. The galactic center is conjunct the south node in your seventh house. Your descendant, this is a very karmic conjunction because it's happening on an angle. So if there's any negativity that's been going on with your relationships, your marriage, or your committed partnerships, this is the time to let go of this negative energy. If you have this feeling that you always have bad luck in relationships, this is the time you can release this bad energy or past karma and let the galactic center take care of it. Unfortunately for some people, this is the time that they may decide to end a relationship, partnership, or some type of agreement. However, this ending is going to be very amicable for both sides because you've thought about this for a while and you know exactly what you want. This is time to worry about you. It's time to take care of your desires and move into a different direction. Cancer Ascendant, Sun or Moon. The new moon is in your second house. The moon, your ruler, and the sun are conjunct at this time forming this new moon event. Cancer is always affected by new moon or full moon events because your ruler is always a big part of this event. This is time for you to initiate something to do with how you earn a living. This is time for you to initiate a creative project that could also impact how you earn a living. 
The second house also rules things over like our self-esteem. You may find that you have a new way of looking at how you feel about yourself. You may have newfound confidence. Other people could also begin a new job at this time. Perhaps information that you're waiting for is made available for you at this time also. The galactic center is conjunct the south node in your sixth house. The sixth house of work, health, diet, and what we do for a living. This is a great time to release past karmas that have to do with your health, both work and perhaps laziness. If you've been in conflict with a co-worker or another open enemy, this would be the perfect time to end this conflict. Or if you've been involved in a legal battle, this is the time that you could end this old karma. If you've been struggling to find work and you felt there was some bad karma associated with this, this is also the time that you could release this negative feeling and find work. And if you've been struggling with a chronic illness, perhaps something that you've inherited from your family through your genetic inheritance, this is the time that you may find relief from this illness. Leo Ascendant, Sun or Moon Sign. The new moon is in your sign. This is your event. Leo sign is always affected by solar events because the sun is always involved in these events. This is your time to shine. This is your time to initiate whatever you've been trying to initiate for the past few months. And if you're born on or around the 18th of August, you're going to have this energy in your solar return chart. It's going to be a year of brand new beginnings. So essentially, you could start something new in pretty much almost any area in your life. The sun, your ruler, is a big part of this event, but it's also trying the galactic center, which is conjunct the south node. This is supportive energy, which is going to help you initiate brand new projects. The galactic center is conjunct the south node in your fifth house. Perhaps you have some negative karma when it comes to creativity, romantic affairs, or your children. Or perhaps you have issues with fertility. This is the time that you could release this negative karma into the galactic center. Let the galactic center take this energy. Some people could end a toxic romantic affair. Or if you've been having problems with your children, this is the time that you could release this negativity to the south node. Some people may feel like they have negative karma when it comes to dating all children or their creativity. This is an opportunity. This opportunity is available for the next three months for you to let go of all this negative karma. Virgo ascendant, sun or moon. The new moon is in your 12th house. Mercury, your ruler, is Kazemi conjunct the sun. It makes Mercury and you a big part of this new moon. Perhaps you have some Perhaps you needed some information or clarity that you were waiting for. This conjunction is going to bring you the information that you've been waiting for. And since this event is in your 12th house, in the hidden house, perhaps you will get this information psychically via dreams or your intuition. You can also begin a project that you can do from the privacy of your home. Others may start some type of spiritual practice or meditation. This new moon energy is definitely going to allow you to be able to work from home. You, you will be able to use your creativity behind the scenes. And then when you have a new moon in your sign next month, you will be able to, you'll be able to present this project to the rest of the world. The, the galactic center is conjunct the south node in your fourth house. This is time to release and this is time to release any negative resentments that you may hold towards your family or your mother. This is time to let this old karma go. If you have any insecurities or negative feelings, this is also the time that you could release this old karma to the black hole in the galactic center. Most Virgos may decide to actually move away from home at this time. Libra Ascendant, Sun or Moon. The new moon is in your 11th house. The ruler Venus is transiting your fourth house. So she is going to smooth over any issues that you may have had in the past. It is time to resolve the arguments and conflicts that have been going on for a while in your home. 
Venus can also help you smooth over things with your mother or your family at this time. It is time to initiate projects with your friends or in the groups that you may belong to. Some people may also take action on their hopes, dreams and wishes. While others are going to begin a significant friendship at this time. Perhaps there's some negative karma or conflicts and arguments that you have with your siblings or your neighbor. This is the time to release this old negative karma to the black hole at the galactic center. Some people may decide to release an old way of thinking or communicating. This is time to find a new way to communicate and coexist with your neighbors and siblings. If there, if there is no compromise to these conflicts, some people might decide to move away from their immediate environment. Scorpio Ascendant, Sun or Moon. The new moon is in your 10th house. Mars, your other ruler, is transiting Aries, his own sign, in your 6th house of work, health, and daily habits. Mars is forming a trine aspect to the moon and the south node, which is conjunct the galactic center, so this new moon energy is going to be quite supportive for you. However, your other ruler, Pluto, is in Capricorn, conjunct Jupiter and Saturn. Pluto is not directly aspecting this new moon. This is a great time for you to look for new work. Yes, even during this pandemic. This new moon energy is highlighting some type of new beginning in your standing in society. Perhaps it could be work or a marital status. The galactic center is conjunct the south node in your second house. Perhaps this is time for you to let go of negative ways of looking at yourself or your self-esteem. It's time to find new and exciting creative ways to value yourself. Those people who feel like they've inherited a low self-esteem from their family, this is the time that you could release this past karma into the black hole in the galactic center with the south node. If you own property that's been a burden and you feel it's been dragging you down and there's some negative karma involved with that property, this is the time that you could release this house or valuable item. This is the time a buyer might present themselves. Sagittarius Ascendant, Sun or Moon. This new moon is in your ninth house. Jupiter, your ruler, is currently transiting the sign of Capricorn and is conjunct Pluto and Saturn. Your ruler is not directly aspecting this new moon event. This is a good time to begin some course of study or higher education. Some some Sagittarians might be presented with an opportunity to travel abroad. Yes, even during this pandemic. This new moon event may surprisingly bring you a travel opportunity. Others may begin to re-evaluate their belief systems and their bigger picture. The galactic center is conjunct the south node, which is conjunct your ascendant. This is a very important transit for you, Sagittarius, because this is an angle house, your ascendant. This is happening to you. You have a lot of letting go when it comes to some inherited karma. Perhaps you have a negative way of looking at yourself or how you present yourself to others. Or perhaps it's time to let go of certain behaviors that could be causing, that could be causing problems in relationships. All these transitions and changes could be quite easy for you to make. Because Mars that initiates action is transiting his own sign and is trying your ascendant. So you're going to have the needed energy and encouragement to just go for it. When the south node is conjunct the ascendant and conjunct the galactic center, this is time for Sagittarians to put the other first in the relationship. Others could let go of an old self-image or a negative way of looking at themselves. Some people may change their name at this time. Capricorn ascendant, sun or moon. This new moon is in your eighth house. S Saturn, your ruling planet, is transiting your own sign. And Saturn is making an aspect to this new moon, which could be a point of negotiation or a point of restriction. So maybe you are feeling restricted or annoyed at this time. Things may not be going exactly as you wish. Mercury is conjunct the sun during this event. Mercury has some information that you are probably missing, information that you're going to need to make decisions to move forward. 
this is a great time for you to initiate a new romantic intimate relationship or if you're already involved in one this is a time for you to cement this relationship and make it official some people may get approved for a mortgage or some other type of loan at this time the galactic center is conjunct the south node in your 12th house this is a great time to release any old past karmas to the galactic center the black hole perhaps you have some self-sabotaging habits perhaps you've been facing conflicts with your hidden enemies and you want to start anew with them maybe you want to end this old karma with them the 12th house is after all a very karmic house it is a house of our past karma and therefore there are many secrets and hidden things that go on in there this is time to let go of all these insecure this is time to let go of all these past karmas aquarius ascendant sun or moon the new moon is happening in your seventh house this is your descendant and angle when something happens when an event when a new moon event happens on an angle it really brings changes and new beginnings in your relationships or your committed relationships some people may begin a new romantic relationship with a mercurial type of person or a younger person or a person in technology or quite intelligent somebody who has mercurial energy about them this relationship could eventually lead to marriage and if you've been dating your partner for a while some people may decide to get married at this time saturn your ruling planet is transiting your 12th house and is queen conks this new moon so there is some negotiation and irritation and restrictions that come with this new moon other ruler uranus is transiting taurus and just recently went retrograde so you so perhaps you have some rethinking to do about your committed relationships and your marriage the galactic center is conjunct the south node in your 11th house the 11th house has to do with your friends groups that you belong to your hopes dreams and wishes perhaps things have not been working out with a certain friendship or in a group that you belong to or a group that you may belong to on the internet this is the time for you to release this toxic relationship or toxic behavior in your group online some people may decide to close their facebook instagram or any other type of social media while others will decide to let go of dreams that they realize that they're not going to be able to realize or achieve at this time. Pisces ascendant, sun or moon. The new moon is happening in your sixth house. Your ruler Jupiter is not aspecting this new moon. He's transiting the sign of Capricorn and is in a major conjunction with Pluto and Saturn. This is the point of restriction for many people, but for you, it has been quite amicable because all these planets trine your because all these planets trine your sign other ruler neptune is transiting your sign so so both your ruling planets are in agreement with you there's no conflict there it's all trines some people may decide to go on a spiritual path at this time while others may stay in fantasy and in dreamland just make sure to come back to reality once in a while pisces Mercury is going to bring you information that you've been waiting for to initiate things in your sixth house. You may decide to quit an old habit and begin a new way of living, a new way of eating, a new way of exercising, a whole brand new daily routine. Others may begin a new job at this time and initiate new friendships with new co-workers. And for those that have been ill, this is a time that you may decide to begin a new course of medication. The galactic center is conjunct the south node in your 10th house. This is the point of karmic release. If you have some past negative karma associated with your standing in society or perhaps the work that you do for a living or for some with your father, this is the perfect time to let go of this negative past karma to the galactic center. Let the black hole swallow this negative karma. Others, feel, others may feel that they've had bad karma when it comes to their bosses or their job. 
this is the time for you to also release this negative energy to the black hole. You have approximately about three months to release this energy amicably. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I encourage you to share my video with your friends and family. And please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you.